Samples from the mountaintop are still clean. No infection. So are the samples from the meadow. What about the samples from the city? Infected. Dust. It's harmless enough. Or so it seems. But each one of these particles carries a germ. Some have no effect on us whatsoever, but others are the cause of our most deadly diseases. <laughs> Come now, Monsieur Pasteur. Are we to believe that some tiny invisible creature is strong enough to kill a human being? Yes. We are born with disease, Mr. Pasteur. It's inside us. Then suddenly, without reason, it bursts into life. Spontaneous generation is an old idea, Doctor. And a bad one. We must have the courage to break with old ideas, gentlemen. If I am right, we have found the beginning, the very origin of disease. And if we can find the beginning of disease, then we can find the end of disease. <laughs> Who ever heard of such a thing? How much longer? Keep your eyes closed, Joseph. I can't wait. Now that you're a first-class shepherd, you'll need some first-class help. Open. <laughs> Is he mine? Is he really mine? <laughs> He's all yours, but you have to take care of him. Train him how to keep the sheep together. I'll do it, Papa. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> Gentlemen, as Minister of Agriculture, I've called you here today on behalf of the chicken farmers of France. Men like Monsieur Lebec here. 
Thousands of chickens are dying each day due to some mysterious disease. Monsieur Lebec will explain. <laughs> ah, it's always the same. First they just get slow, like this one here. Then they get the shudders, maybe some vomiting. Their eyes glaze over. And then they die. I've lost almost half my chickens. Cholera. Are you sure? The symptoms are unmistakable. What can we do? <laughs> Nothing, I'm afraid. Doctor, I cannot accept that answer. Even when a human being gets cholera, we have to wait it out and hope for the best. That's it? Surely there's more we can do. This has got to be it. These black, rod-like creatures, they're causing chicken cholera. Let me see. They show up in the blood of every dead or dying chicken, but not in the blood of others. How can we be sure? Give this infected blood to healthy chickens. If they get sick, then we'll know we found the germ. Right. <laughs> Louis? I'm fine. Oh. Oh. He's had a severe stroke, Monsieur Roux. I don't expect him to live. I warned him not to work so hard. I don't know why he felt so driven. For his daughters. You mean daughter, don't you? He only has one. He had four. The others died of disease. Typhoid fever. When the last one passed away, he made a vow. He would keep others from dying in the same way. An honorable wish, Monsieur Lou. But I'm afraid beyond our power. He was close, Doctor. I really believe he was close. Louis, please, save your strength. Do not fear. I will not cannot die. I must live for them. And for you. definitely found the germ. I knew it. Once it's injected, the chicken dies. Then we have to find something to inject the chicken with. Something strong enough to kill the cholera, but not so strong that it kills the chicken first. Here she comes, quick. You're looking well today, Louis. I'm feeling well. I really think I'm ready to go back to work. The doctor says no, and so do I. I don't even want you thinking about germs and chickens until you're completely rested. Come along, Emile. I'm glad you're back, Louis. Nothing seems to work on the chickens. I wish I could have been more help to you while you were ill. Don't worry about that. You'll have plenty of opportunity to help me now. You are my hands, Emile. Well, my left one, anyhow, 
Huh? What's this? Oh, well, the, the blood samples you were working with the day of the stroke. I'm sorry, I should have thrown them out. No. Inject some into one of the chickens. But we know what will happen. It will die. I'm not so sure. It's been sitting there for a while. The cholera must have become weaker. Give it a try. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't get it. It was sick for a while, but now it's fine. Yes. Now, inject this chicken with a deadly dose of cholera. The strongest you can find. Amazing! It survives! But how? The first shot, the weakened germs, wasn't strong enough to kill it. But it did force its body to build a defense to the disease. You mean a weak form of cholera? may prevent a chicken from getting a deadly form of cholera? Exactly. How did you figure it out? Chance favors the prepared mind and you. <coughs> oh! <coughs> but we mustn't be too hasty. We'll do the experiment again, hundreds of times if we have to. <sighs> Come on, boy. Up, up, jump. Want to help me count the sheep? Huh? <coughs> Good boy. That's strange. Monsieur Pasteur claims to have developed a vaccine, an injection which can prevent anthrax in sheep. I find that very unlikely. How can you? After his success with chicken cholera, I should think It's you much would be... too soon to be talking about complete success. Furthermore, anthrax is far more deadly than chicken cholera. Gentlemen, I hope your pride will not keep you from... This matter can be easily solved. I suggest an experiment. Let Mr. Pasteur take 25 sheep and inject them with his miracle vaccine. Then we will inject them with a deadly dose of anthrax. If the vaccine works, then so be it. If it doesn't... Well, then perhaps the people of France will see Mr. Pasteur's claims for what they are. Nonsense. All right, these vaccines are ready. Did you test them thoroughly? Twice. That's not enough. Do it again. But Louis, you're only wasting vaccine. Do it again! Emil, I'm sorry. It's just that if these animals die because the vaccine wasn't made properly, then who will believe that such a vaccine can save human lives? I understand. I'll do it. There. That's the last one. It's a pity these poor creatures had to die for the sake of science. Don't be sad. They will live. To make sure that no one tampers with the results of this experiment, the Academy asks everyone to go home and return in the morning. We shall know the results then.
your help. Why won't you give him the shot? Your rabies vaccination works. Sometimes. In some animals. The vaccine isn't ready. But this is what you've lived for, Louis. How can I give them that hope? That boy is going to die. His father looks to you for life for the life of his son. If that boy had been one of our daughters, what would you do? Five days, and still no sign of improvement. I hate to say it, Louis, but I think he's getting worse. Shall we give him more? I... I don't know. What if we give him less? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll give him one more. A strong one. has made a bed for you. 
I, I can't sleep, Monsieur Pasteur. Let me make you something to eat, then. I can't eat anything, either. I can. Joseph? Joseph! Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. You bring me the deepest joy that can be felt by a man whose invincible belief it is that science and peace will triumph over ignorance and war. That the future will belong to those who have done the most for suffering humanity. will not be put down They won't be put down You teach your eyes to see more clearly You teach your mind to question and to prove Through years of trials and sorrows Your courage endures For such a spirit everything will move Watch everything move if you believe nothing can stop you If you believe you'll find the way To pay the price of victory And turn the dream you see into reality If you believe The world will give you every reason Why what you see cannot be so They'll call you blind, deluded But if you press on The light will show you where to go Let it show you where to go If you believe Nothing can stop you If you believe You'll find the way To pay the price of victory And turn the dream you see Into reality If you believe if you believe, come on, believe. 